Yo, Jay, what's up, man? Yo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You good? Yo, don't run Why up on me. Why you jump like that? You running up on me. Don't. Damn. I'm, well, I'm we, we peoples, right? Yeah, but I'm focused. Don't run I just me. wanted to see what you were doing over here. It looked like you was about to get into something. I was, but. Man. Almost had an accident. Don't run up on me. We good? Yeah, we good. Is it safe? It's safe. Anywho. What's going on out there? You know who it is. It's Zeus Cruz of Olympia Multimedia giving you another segment of Get Things Done. In this particular segment, I got my partner in crime, um, Mr. Jaso, uh, a.k.a. Mr. Alpha of J Alpha Omega Z. We good. Oh, we good? Yeah, we good. Oh, we good. We good. We good. We good. Woo. Okay. This particular segment, as you see set up here, um, what we're going to show to you is a basic outline of how you get to start your musical project by using your own personal electronic device, specifically through an application. The application that we're using today is called BandLab. It's kind of like our go-to thing to kind of just set that template for us for our music production. In our last video segment, we kind of showed you the outlines of creating a beat from scratch from beginning to end. And here, we're kind of going to simplify the formatting in which you can begin your project here and then divert that project onto your doll so that you can go ahead and layer it out, mix it, and then therefore master it. If you notice here, this is the uh, this is what the application will look, on, look like once you log on to it. As you notice, you have your track types and you have various tools that you can implement into your production. In a later video, we're gonna get a little bit more in depth on these different types of features on there. But in here, again, we're just showing you the basics for you to begin your production. So Jay, let's start them out on what we do. All right, so right now we're gonna open Studio. We're gonna click on BandLab Sounds. And we're gonna click on Loops. Now from there, you have a list of different instruments that you can go through. Um, for this one, I'm going to hit piano. And from there, each one of these is a different sound. You can just click on it. Let's see, this is the beauty of BandLab is that you have an entire sound library at your disposal that breaks down into subgroups based off instruments or as you notice here if you scroll over once you pick onto an instrument it actually breaks down that subgroup into like different moods if you're looking for a particular sound a particular element in your production it also breaks it down by genres as well so if you know exactly what you're looking for as far as a hip-hop beat a trap beat or maybe you're trying to do a score for your video it's grouped as is with the library that goes accordingly with it with a list of different types of loops so we're going to start clicking yeah i like that one right there you like this one yeah so if you like it you go over here and hit the plus hit the playback and see if you notice another beautiful feature a band lab is that whatever loop that you pick it automatically makes it into a track for you and then it lines it up accordingly to the coordinates of top in which you can break your beat down into quadrants and then you could put specific uh, effects into your production all right so when you click on it you hit the symbol you unclick the piano because you're done with that. Now, let's go into the beats. You do the same thing. You listen for the beats. And you also noticed here on the loops that they have, they actually break it down to you to the size of the, the loop based off bars. And then it gives you a nice descriptive words to, get, to let you know the feel and the ambience of the loop. That thing got knocked right there, Jay. We're going we gonna to go ahead and use that one. So, 
Here you just line it up to pretty much where you want it. So we'll start over and just listen to it. Also a key point too, it also lets you know the BPMs for each loop as well. If that's something very important for you, if you're looking for uh, a certain type of tempo when it comes to your production. Also too, if you want to stretch your track out, click on it. Go ahead and add some more to it. They make it very easy. Very hands-on, very intuitive. All right, so we're going to work on our third track. All right. Uh, I think we should try to add a hi-hat. Hi-hat? Yeah. So same thing. You just start clicking. Let's try to use vintage hip. Kind of digging that one. All right. So we're going to go ahead and add it. It puts it. I'll just take it back to right here. So let's say we're finished, you like it, everything is good. We're gonna come over here to the top left corner, click it, and we're gonna hit save. The good thing about this, it saves it for you. Go ahead and click on your folder. It just uploaded right here, you click on it, right here. And that's what you just did. And then the beautiful thing too here is, is that you can actually make this production into a link. So you copy the link and you can share that link to whatever who you're collaborating with, whether it's other members of or people that's associated with BandLab, or if you're just working outside with a third party or another producer, you go ahead make the production into a link, send it off to them, and then you can continue working. Also, too, if if you felt like it's missing something, you can click on Studio, and that takes you right back into it. Awesome. Then you can add more or take it away. And then one last thing, if you go back, if you notice that your files are not listed below, all you have to do is go to the tab that says Projects, go to My Projects, and it will be listed in there. So very easy interface, very easy to navigate, really not a lot of overhead as far as um, getting an understanding of it and knowing how to use the features that's within. You just need to take time, be patient. You have a, a extensive library to use that you could pick from. And it's basically like putting a puzzle together. You're kind of just piecing these loops together in order to make a production, a full production beat. So this is our quick layout of showing you how you can start within your device. And then in the second segment or the second part of this segment, we're going to break down how you could go ahead and just mix what we just did so that you can start putting the finishing touches to your production. And that's about it. That's it. We appreciate you tuning in. You know who it is. It's Zeus Cruz of Olympian Multimedia. We did make it through this. On a on a positive note, always. Uh, good. I appreciate you, uh, Mr. Jaso, Mr. Kane. Don't run up on me like that. Okay, cool. Uh, anywho, we gonna we gonna work on that. You know what I mean. But anyway, you know it is Zeus Cruz, Olympian Multimedia. The only thing left to say is, get things done. We are gonna check you later. You know what I mean.